Hey, what's up Glam Fam? Welcome back to my channel. This video is long overdue. I didn't get the chance to do it the entire month of January because I've been sick since 2020 started. First, I got upper respiratory infection and then after that, my husband and I both got food poisoning during our anniversary week. We both went out to eat and then both ended up getting food poisoning and his lasted for like maybe one day and mine was like I was hospitalized for it because it got so bad and I was super dehydrated. I feel like so many of you guys have been sick since 2020 started while I've been sick I've just been sitting at home playing Mario and that's been my life I'm finally filming this video so let's just jump right into it first eyeliner that I'm gonna talk about is the NYX epic ink eyeliner this eyeliner is a felt tip eyeliner and what I mean by felt tip is that it doesn't have bristles it's just like in a pen form it swatches like this and you can get the perfect sharp wing with this eyeliner I think out of all my liquid eyeliners this is probably my favorite this is also a waterproof eyeliner okay the next eyeliner that I'm going to talk about is the NYX matte eyeliner now this eyeliner right here is a brush tip so what I mean by brush tip is that it has bristles and this is also a super thin brush so you can also get a really sharp wing with it that swatch was like so thick but that's what I was trying to do sometimes what I like to do is I will take a different eyeliner and like draw my line with it and then I'll switch to this matte eyeliner because of the brush just to get that really sharp wing Next is this Tardius Double Take Eyeliner and this is basically just a double ended eyeliner. On one side it has a felt tip liquid and the other side it's a retractable pencil. Side note, I did a review on the Huda Beauty double ended eyeliner as well and I compared it to all of these eyeliners that I'm talking about here. That's on my Instagram, on my IGTV if you want to check that out. Next I have the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. This is also a felt tip and this is like the sample size by the way. There is a bigger size than this. So this compares to the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner that I was talking about earlier. As you can see, the felt tip for this right here, which is the NYX one, it's a lot smaller than the Stila one right here. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the pencil eyeliners that I have in my collection. This is my favorite eyeliner of all time. This is the Pat McGrath Ultra Glide Liner, and it comes on like a gel. Okay, gel eyeliners tend to go on a lot smoother because of their consistency. So this is basically like a gel eyeliner in a pencil form, and you can sharpen it. So I like to use this for my waterline and my tight line and this is also I think this is waterproof as well it doesn't say that it's waterproof but I'm pretty sure if it's not waterproof it's definitely water resistant because I have cried with this eyeliner on and it never budged the next pencil I have is this highliner gel crayon right here by Marc Jacobs and this right here is a retractable one so oh I don't have that much left but basically it's retractable if you have a retractable pencil versus a pencil that you can sharpen, the formula is going to be different. They had to make it so that it could fit in a stick in a tube. And this one, anytime you need it, you just sharpen it to get that point stronger. The next type of eyeliner that I'm going to talk about is the Inglot Gel Eyeliner number 77. And this eyeliner right here is like the OG of all eyeliners. Eyeliners that come in like a tub like this, they are not beginner friendly because then you have to get the right brush you have to have the right precision so I'm gonna tell you two of my favorite eyeliner brushes that I like to use with this eyeliner the first one is the Morphe 250 eyeliner brush and what this is is it's just like a brush tip and it's really thin and it's short so I have full control when I do my eyeliner using the Inglot gel liner. Another brush that I really like is the Morphe 160 1 16th brush. And this is basically just an angled brush. And you might find that it's easier to do a wing with this than it is with this. Because with this you need a lot of precision. With this the shape of the brush helps you achieve that 
wing without having to put in so much effort. Liquid eyeliners are the most user friendly and pencil eyeliners. But the thing with pencil eyeliners are that sometimes it might be hard to achieve a really nice sharp wing and then that's when you can use a liquid on top. So if you're trying to learn how to do a wing eyeliner, the first thing that I'm going to tell you is to constantly do it. Every single day whether it's going to work, whether it's going to school, before you go to sleep at night, every single night, practice doing a wing eyeliner eyeliner because with a wing eyeliner practice does make perfect that's how I learned how to do a wing eyeliner every single night I would just do eyeliner and then I would wash it off before going to bed and when you're doing eyeliner you want to keep in mind the shape of your eyes me personally I have pretty wide and round eyes so when I do eyeliner on myself I like to make my wing thin in the beginning and thicker towards the end and then do my wing and let it just taper out because I like to make my eyes look longer with my eyeliner if you have long eyes and you want your eyes to get that doe eyed effect versus the long cat eye effect that's when you would do a more thick eyeliner from beginning to end and then a thick wing at the end if that makes sense let's go ahead and start first I'm gonna clip my hair back because I don't need my hair getting in my face so there are two ways to do your eyeliner first you can start by doing your wing or you can start by doing the line first I'm gonna show you both ways so keep in mind like I mentioned before I have round eyes I like to do a wing that makes my eyes look elongated rather than doe eye if you do it from the top lash line your wing will not be even if you extend it out from your lower lash line your wing will be even just kind of make a small flick right here and extend it so I've got like a tiny little guide right there okay and also keep in mind the direction it's going so I'm noticing right here that it's facing up till the beginning part of my temple so I'm just gonna go ahead and extend this wing and then I'm just gonna draw this in right here okay and then to start my line I'm gonna start with the beginning part of my eye I stretch my eyes out when I do my eyeliner I don't recommend that you do that because you will get premature wrinkles from doing that as much as I try not to do it I still end up doing it but while I'm doing the line whether it's this way or another way I don't just go from start to finish in one stroke and do a line I like to press on it over and over again so that I can get the perfect straight line okay and always start thin because you can always make your line thicker as you go along but it's harder to take away Okay, now that we've gotten almost to the end, I'm going to turn my eyeliner. So you see how I was doing it like from this direction. Now I'm going to turn it this way and go from left to right just to connect it. Okay, now that I've connected it, I'm going to switch back. And then towards the outer part, I like to make it thicker. So as you can see, I extended this part of the line outwards and I'm just going to fill it in now. Always make sure you're resting your arm or you're holding your arm up. Otherwise, your hand's going to shake and it's going to be harder for you to do a line. You just want to keep on connecting until you connect it to the wing completely. Okay, so now we've gotten to the wing part of this, okay? And then you just extend outwards. The base is the part that helps you get it straight. What I'm going to show you here is, you know that brush that I showed you for the gel eyeliner? This is the Morphe 160 over 116 brush. So I'm taking my Fenty Beauty in the shade 300. This is my skin tone concealer. This is not like that many shades lighter than me because I don't want it to be like a dramatic difference between it. But this brush is perfect for this because all you have to do is just carve out this edge right here. And this is obviously a good trick if you're having a hard time creating a sharp wing. So at this point, I'm going to switch to my NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. It's super thin. It's going to help me achieve a very thin and precise line. So I'm just going to go over the parts that I see that need help. 
excuse those geese outside. <laughs> okay, so now based off of this wing, I feel like the wing is too long for the line. So I'm going to go back into my Epic Ink Eyeliner and I'm just going to connect it some more and thicken it towards the end. So now the wing on this eye is done and I'm going to move on to this eye now. And this time I'm going to be using the Tarte Double Ended Eyeliner and I'm going to use that to create the line. And then again I'm going to switch to the NYX Matte Liquid Liner to do the wing like I did on this eye right here. The same strategy, I'm just going to... First of all, adjust myself so that I'm looking straight down at the mirror instead of straight at the mirror. So right now I'm just kind of roughly drawing and obviously it's not even yet because I haven't gone over the entire line yet. I'm just kind of mapping it out and then I'm going to check the shape from here. So you see how I kind of left an opening before extending it from my lower lash line out. And now I am just going to extend it out. If you have small eyes or even hooded eyes, you don't want to make your line too thick or too strong outwards because if your eyeliner is too thick when you have hooded eyes, when you open your eyes, it's going to transfer to your crease every single time and it's going to make it look messy. So if you have smaller eyes, take your eyeliner. If you don't want the inky look, take your regular pencil eyeliner and draw a line with the pencil and then take a flat brush so like this this is the morphe m432 brush and you can see how flat it is and just go on top of your eyeliner and just kind of smoke it out and smudge it out and you'll get that really nice blown out look which will actually make smaller eyes look bigger so I'm going to show you guys that same trick on my lower I lash line if I'm wearing fake eyelashes I have to put some kind of eyeliner on top so that it blends in with the band even if it's a no eyeliner look you still have to hide the lash band so we're going to jump ahead and just move on to putting on eyelashes and I'm using the House of Lash Iconic Lashes. This is like the fourth time that I'm using these and I'm dipping into my House of Lash eyelash glue. So even with using a black eyelash glue, I still can see my lash line and these lashes are kind of wonky because I've used them like a bunch of times. So it's very important that after you apply your fake eyelash, you go back on top of it with your eyeliner, no matter what it is, your pencil, your liquid, even black eyeshadow, just to hide it and kind of make that line blend in with your lash line. So for lining my water lines, I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Gel Liner. Sometimes when you have on like a heavy eyeshadow look and you see white inside when it shouldn't be, it will make your lashes stick out more and it'll be prominent that you're wearing fake eyelashes. So to prevent that, what you want to do is take your eyeliner and go ahead and run it along the whole top water line. I'm going to create that inner corner flick and what I like to do is take my pencil first and just go ahead and extend it inwards and then apply it to my lower waterline so that it has something to connect to when I go back in with that liquid eyeliner to create the wing. So I'm just going to roughly apply this to this line right here and also connect it to my outer wing. To my NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner and I'm going to connect this top part of my eyeliner to this lower part that I just drew on with that pencil. So I already have on this shade right here called Dusty Rose from the Anastasia Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette on my eyelid. So I'm going to use that same shade with that same flat definer brush that I was showing you guys. And 
And then once I get towards the outer corner, connecting to my wing, that's when I like to deepen it up and go a little bit darker. So I'm going to take Cypress Umber, which is also in this palette. You can use any dark brown eyeshadow that you have. Focus that more towards the outer corner and also underneath this wing area right here. Okay, so I've done my mascara and I went ahead and I applied this Sephora House of Lash like soft pink eyeliner and I just went and applied it right here to the inner tear duct area. I love doing this trick even with eyeshadows. If I don't use an eyeliner, I'll do this trick with eyeshadows just to make the eyes really pop. So yeah, that just about wraps it up. This is the eyeliner routine that I use whether I have a soft look or a heavy look. If I'm trying to keep it more minimal, I end up doing the same steps but I don't do it as dramatic as I have it on today. For those of you who participated in my Instagram poll, the get to know me video versus eyeliner tutorial, I'm still going to do the get to know me video because I realized that if you're not my friends or family and you watch my video, y'all don't know shit about me. So if you have any specific questions that you want me to answer, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! One more step I forgot to share with you guys is that if you're having a hard time figuring out if your eyeliner or your eyebrows are even or not, okay, if you look at your reflection in the mirror, it's only going to show you so much because you're looking at your reflection, right? So if you take your camera, your back camera, it's almost as if you're looking at your eyeliner from an outside perspective. So what I like to do is I'll take a picture of it just to make sure that it's like even. So I know that's really extra, but sometimes I do do that if I like am having serious OCD about how straight my eyeliner is or my eyebrows. Eyebrows, I don't care too much about because like, dude, my eyebrows are already uneven. Like one eyebrow goes one direction and the other goes another direction. But eyeliner needs to be on point. Like it needs to be as even as possible because if your eyeliner is not even, then your life is not even. And if your life's not even, then how are you going to get good selfies?